kindness deserves recognition. And in tonight's Pay It Forward, sponsored by First Fidelity Bank, News 4's Heather Holman traveled to Blanchard. That's where each day a librarian shapes the lives of children. And those kids tagged along for the big surprise with Heather. <laughs> Libraries hold countless books full of magical stories of heroes and heroines, but this story is of the real life heroine at the Blanchard Public Library. She's the best librarian in the world. She's the best one ever. Mrs. Brooke Fisher, the children's librarian. The kids call her Mrs. Brooke. She's just really kind and helpful. Every time when you're in a bad mood, she'll try to cheer you up. And most of these kids love the library so much, they volunteer here. Well, I just like helping out. It's fun, too. Every day? <laughs> yes. Every day. It's been hours. <laughs> yes. So do you guys like to read? No. <laughs> so it's a good thing that books aren't Mrs. Brooks' only specialty. She taught a songwriting class, too, leading 14-year-old Michael and Logan, 15, to write their own. I wish she was here. We do fun activities like cooking and all that stuff. At the library? Mm -hmm. With the Lego robotic, she would build the robot and then code it. Cooking, coding, computers, and crafts are just some of the many programs Mrs. Brooke facilitates for children of all abilities. At one of the events, when we were all sitting down and my oldest got overloaded, sensory overloaded, she sat out and she colored with him. She found him headphones. Danielle Arvison nominated Mrs. Brooke for a Pay It Forward Award, along with mom Paula Lujan, who homeschools her four children. Her and Mrs. Becky uh, helped me put together our Oklahoma history curriculum, which it had to hit from third grade all the way to ninth grade. And they were able to pull books together for us to have that. She pours love. Pours yes. it out. And it shows by the size of this crowd hiding behind the library with me, ready to surprise Mrs. Brooke with a Pay It Forward Award from First Fidelity Bank's Aubrey Williams. I'm excited that I got chosen to do this story because I'm an avid reader. And so to be able to recognize a librarian who's instilling a love of reading in kids is really special. So on behalf of First Fidelity Bank, I'm excited to help pay it forward to Miss Fisher. I'm Heather Holman with Channel 4. I'm a nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. This entire crew is here for you today. Okay. First group, ready, one, two, three, go. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you guys. Thank you so much. Yay. That's so sweet of you guys. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Can I have hugs? I need hugs. I love the kids. I want to help. Even, you know, my adults. I, it's just me. I've done this for over 27 years. So it's the love of the job. Mrs. Brooke and books just go together. But it's all these smiling faces that bring her back each day. There's no more shushing in the library. She knows everyone by name. And what teacher did Alex get? And when COVID kept them apart, Mrs. Brooke held story time in the park. I just love this whole small town and it's like a family. I love this. In a library full of books, Brooke Fisher's story of kindness tops them all. That is so sweet. What a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Heather Holman, Oklahoma's News 4. And tell us if you know somebody deserving of a Pay It Forward Award. That was great. Head to KFOR.com slash Pay It Forward. And instead of using the F in forward, use the number four.